less said about the gods, the better. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Kid breaks him to bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off? Piv. Kid decides to press his luck. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy.
Leura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Justice. They seemed unstoppable. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Survive the trial without taking a scratch, you'd walk away a free man. trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, you gotta always watch your back. Third, ain't no godlike bull up there gonna save you. step aside and let things go. Some folks wound up taking the coward's way out. The kid pulls through in fine form. Court is back in session for the kid. Old ritual for when folks believe there was this godlike bull watching over him.
kid pulls it off like it was nothing. There's a hint of pride in his eye when he gets back, and more than a hint in mine.